and uh, more involved. So, first of all, I do want to thank you guys for coming and volunteering. Uh, I do really appreciate it. Uh, without volunteers, our tournament will never success, succeed without without the volunteers and uh, judges. You guys are the backbone of the tournament. Um, we're all people. We will make mistakes. Uh, referees will never make a mistake. I can tell you that right now. We are the first ones to make mistakes. <laughs> uh, scorekeepers are the ones that are keeping us in line. Uh, we'll be pointing to red and we'll say point white. You guys say, hey, time out. You pointed to red, are you sure? So you guys can see the center referee and have a good communication with the ref center referee. Um, uh, Sensei Archie, he's hosting this. Uh, he and myself, okay. Is it your bike? Yeah. Yeah, he just walked it in. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I watched him. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I just, yeah, I don't trust this neighborhood. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure yeah, your yeah, stuff was safe. He tries to bring his bike to my house sometimes. I'm like, dude, it's okay on the porch. <laughs> well, this, this area is pretty sketchy. Yeah, no, appreciate it. So, uh, since he, uh, since Archie and I, uh, we're really down to earth. Not a lot of black belts are like us. Some of us <laughs> just got their black belt and have egos. <laughs> I can beat that out of them. <laughs> Uh, and, and you'll see the egos. We try not to uh, have the ones that carry themselves above everybody else to center referee. They have to communicate with you guys, and you guys have a good say. And hey, time out. Are you sure you wanted white? You point to red or whatever. It's communication. I call what I call. Come see uh, myself or somebody. Uh, there's a guy named CJ, he's a bigger fella, you can't miss him. Um, come see one of us, we'll straighten it out because you guys don't need to get yelled at because you guys will get yelled at by all the little kids. When am I up next? When am I going? Huh? You're just constantly, we try to keep them away from you guys. Uh, but you guys will make, make mistakes. That's going to happen. I'm not going to say it's the end of the world. It's close to the end of the world for me, but it's not the end of the world for anybody else. Um, uh, so don't think, oh, if I make a mistake, it's it's huge. We can always correct the mistakes. Um, a lot of people at my last tournament got 15 minutes of class time because it was the day of and we were scrambling for help. We'll be like that this, this year because we only have us. I got maybe a couple more coming that have done it before. but. Um, we try to get 18 referees and 12 scorekeeper timekeepers. That way we can get the tournament ran right away. Yes. I have a question. So his, it was the wife, wife, whatever, she was willing to come today, but I was unaware of that and we were running behind and it was kind of like a crunch time thing. So, I mean, would she still be able to hundred percent. He's okay. got. He's got these. She, she can read through them. I can, I'm videotaping this right now, okay. so I can upload it to a, um, an unlisted YouTube, my art channel. Okay. That way, if you guys want to view from home, you guys will be able to do that. Okay. okay so that's right, 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 right through. And then I can even get my caregiver too. He just wasn't able to make it today. He'll be able to make the tournament. You, so then you, you got that. You pass that on. Okay. This is self-explanatory. So uh, and then, since you guys are here, I'd actually have you guys do this. This is mine. This is why it's crinkly and rolled. It says, do not roll it. Roll these or fold these. Uh, these are actually hard to make. Um, but we actually bought this, uh, this is patent. We bought the patent from the founder and we took over their tournament. So um, it is a flawless system that they came up with. So going back to, we're gonna start with the toughest thing first and that's forms. So you're gonna have a timekeeper and a scorekeeper for forms. You'll have cards. These cards will be delivered to your table by a uh, coordinator. Um, you guys don't need to know who's going first, second, third, or fourth. That's up to the coordinator. Uh, we sh shuffle, we don't shuffle cards. The kids or students pick a chip, 
one through 15, whoever pulls the chip, whoever's got the lowest chip goes first, the highest chip goes last. Line them up in the line, we take the cards, we put them there, we give them to you, we'll say this is the order of your division, we give it to you, you put it on start here. Yeah. And just to show, it's a start here, which is the green one. Or, uh, I don't know what my color is. Pink. Purple? Pink. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So it starts there. Then what you say is now up. You always, we'll say Penny. If you have a last name, say the last name. If you just want to say the first name, because there's a lot of people. I cannot pronounce half the last names, so I'll just say the first name. If there's two Luises, then I'll say uh, Lewis Wheeler or Louise or wh whatever it is. And that's now up. Uh, on deck, so they can warm up and loosen up a little bit, is Bill. And you put their cards there. <clears throat> when they go up, the timekeeper, and this is very important, so this is uh, the ring and it makes sense at the tournament. It's not going to make a lot of sense here, but we're going to try our best. Well, you got the... Yes. So we have one judge here, two judges on the corner. When they call their name, I'm going to call Archie up as soon as he comes in. So as soon as his foot touches inside the ring, that time starts. Okay? So we can start there, or if he walks up, time's not starting, time's not starting, time's not starting, boom, time starts. If he goes all the way to the back, all the way around, to save more time, it doesn't start until he puts his foot <laughs> into the ring, and you, there's going to be a kid or two doing this. That was me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and then I'm, boom, I'm in. So once their foot is in the ring, they click the timer. We're going to have real timers, but everybody knows how to use a time yeah. stop. A time, time stop watch. watch. Stop watch. It's start, stop, reset. So right, right, left. But it does not start until they enter the ring. And it's very important because some uh, styles have long katas, but they cannot be more than three minutes. If they are over three minutes, they are deducted uh, a hundredth of a point. It says it somewhere in here. If they're uh, after a minute, 10 seconds, every 10 seconds, it's another hundredth of a point. If it's 30 seconds, it's another, it just keeps adding on the hundredths of the point. So that's the hardest part of the timekeeper's job, is watching them come in, and then when they start, and then when they finish, they usually do a bend over bow. If you're a uh, soft stylist, uh, kung fu, they just do this. They won't. They don't do a lot of bend over. They just come here and back. Uh, Kempo, you guys do the bow, or at the same time. Uh, so you will see back basically when they're done, hit the stop. It doesn't really affect the kids. It's generally the black belts that are actually reaching out for the point system, which is a whole different, it's part of our whole league. If you win uh, first place in all the tournaments, you win a ring at the end of the year, kind of like football. Uh, this year is not a ring, I think it's gonna be a plaque of some sort. Um, so when you're scoring, it says something about five judges, you cross off the highest, the low, and you use the center section of that. We're hoping just to get three judges per ring. So we're not gonna worry about the high and low. When you uh, write the scores down, write them the same direction each time. That is really critical. So if you always write the first one down here, and then you go this one, and then this one, the next time the person goes up, you don't wanna go opposite. You wanna stay consistent. And there's a pattern behind that because if there's a tie, we don't have to do the form again. We go back to the scorecards and figure it out. There's a there's a equation for how to get first, second, and third out of that. Uh, it's simple. It's been done for years. That way, the oh, it's a tie. They go again. Nope, it's a tie. Let's see how we can uh, go this go this route. 
Um, any questions so far on this? Okay. Okay. Uh, you'll be writing the scores on these, and I can give you guys a couple of these. Do you already have a couple of these? I don't. Okay, you pass. Want to check them out? Yes. These are from our uh, the NBL days. We stole them from uh, from them, and then we just uh, copied. So you write the scores down. Right here. Yep. Okay. Box in the box. So they're, they're scorekeepers at my turn. Uh, so you write the scores down. It'll be like eight point nine five or eight point three two. So you just write the scores clearly down from, from judge to judge. <coughs> yes. So when you guys were doing this stuff yesterday, um, um, I noticed on the back of the whiteboard it was all the, the scoring, like the breakdown of all the scoring. We'll have that, right? Uh, the judges will have that. That's how the okay. judges uh, decide how to score the, the And the then that's, better. so we'll get that at the tournament. So yep. we can, okay. So we'll figure out the scoring there. <coughs> yes, and it'll be, should be out on the, on on the tables too for you guys. Okay. Um, make sure you write uh, neat. Um, my <laughs> eights and sixes almost look the same. Uh, parts people write numbers. I don't know what it is. So if you write them all day. We're like doctors. Yeah, exactly. And I can I, I can read them. Nobody else can. I know. Yeah. So just write as neat as you can because uh, there might be discrepancy. Um, So you will see, if you have a division of seven people, the judges are gonna watch the first three, they'll watch one person do their routine, sit them down, watch another person do their routine, set them down, watch a third person do their routine, set them down, then we call the first person back up. The center referee knows what he's doing, he will turn around and help uh, the scorekeeper do that. They'll say, okay, call the first person up. Or after the first person's down, they'll say, okay, you sat him down, call the next person up. So it's a good communication between the center referee and, and the judge. Uh, and let's see, so, so after you, you can use this form, these guys do. So you start here, you're on deck, you're up now. You get the scores. That first person already gets first place. And you just add up all the scores, uh, normally after, uh, in between the katas. So the second uh, place person goes here in the third. Then if you have the fourth person go up, they watch them, they score them, you do the scores, you add up the scores. Okay, well, he plays second. So the second place is now a third. Now the third is right here, as where A said, that's where the losers go. I like to say not winners. Uh -huh. I just learned that from Archie. Uh, so you can use that, it, it's really helpful. We only uh, want first, second, third place. We, we don't care about fourth or fifth. Uh, not this year, once we start getting bigger and more established, we have more, then we will go to fifth place, each place will be awarded points for our end of the year celebration. Um, any questions? Do you guys have anything to add? Uh, usually when the, the judges give out the scores, just repeat the scores. So That's a key thing. Talk loudly too. Yeah. Use your outside voice. Okay, I have bad outside, hearing. Outside. So. Yeah, every, everybody's got to definitely speak up. That's definitely something. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. Granted, That's me. I got it. Sorry. Granted, the center judge is going to be in front of you guys. Yeah. That's my reminder to practice. Yes. Body. So, <laughs> to practice yeah. it's right. going to be loud enough. So, uh, so what's with the, on the first page, it says time limit is three minutes, and on the second page, time right. limit is two minutes. Okay. Second page is sparring. Okay. First, first one's the routines. So katas, oh, okay. and katas sparring, and sparring. And then staple kind of blocked off the top part. Of the yes, sparring. I, I know. I was like, uh, <laughs> I, I read that too. I'm thinking, wait a minute, two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it's that makes sparring. more sense now. Okay. <laughs> so, any, any questions on sparring? No, or forms. Forms and weapons are the same rules as 
what you guys do. Uh, the judges have a whole different set of rules. You know, if the kids want to start over, they can. Certain divisions, they don't get de deducted. The only deduction you guys give, there's going to be two of them. If they go over three minutes, they get deducted uh, a, a hundredth of a point. If we combine two divisions together, intermediate with an advance, the intermediate gets a bonus point. But I'm not sure how many yet. I, I left a phone call today at six o'clock to CJ. Uh, I haven't received a call back. So he's usually calling me back. Good to call me. So that is what we're going to learn the day of the tournament. So that's going to be uh, a little bit more difficult, but the myself, the center referee, or the coordinator will help you guys coordinate that. Hey, we're combining these divisions. These guys get X amount of points. It seems like a lot, but once we get up there, it'll just kind of, everything's just going to flow like a well-oiled machine. It, it is. Okay. It is. It seems like it's a lot. overwhelming, yeah. but it's really, really not. Once okay. you get past the first division, it'll just Yeah, it just right seems through. like everybody's just going to help push us through, and we'll know exactly what we need to do. Yeah, so if you have like, more people with visuals and everything, it seems like yes. it'll go pretty yeah. fast. So. And then yeah. uh, what we should have done is I should have been more proactive about this class earlier with the referee clinic at Nash Mendoza's during a mini tournament. That's what they do on the west side. They have mini tournaments all the time. They're called friendship tournaments. And uh, uh, that's how they run their scorekeeper time groups. But yeah, after the first division, it just, well, it's, it's easy. You just go through the motions. Um, bathroom breaks, you guys can take a bathroom break. In between uh, divisions, um, unless you really have to go, I have a bladder issue, so when, it, when it's time for me to go, I, it's either I'm going here or there. You guys pick. <laughs> um, so sometimes I'll just say, hey, time out, I gotta go. And I'll just get up and run. Yes. I guess my question would be, so sitting, how long would I, I mean, would I be able to stand up, stretch, kind of walk? I mean, I'd still be there, but yeah. I mean, with my back, I might yep. have to move around a little bit. Yes, I can't okay. sit for, I can't okay. sit for long, so yeah. yes, if, if you need to, Walk around. No parents should be talking to you guys. The only people that should be talking to you is a uh, black belts or uh, Coordinator. coordinators. How's that work with my daughter competing for me? <clears throat> as long as she's not bothering you. Okay. She's like, hey, when am I up next? When am I up next? When am I up next? So her and I just don't talk about anything, nothing. It's just she does her thing and I do mine yep. and then I help her with hers and then that's it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It's not, uh, we just try to keep you guys left alone because. Uh, parents, boy, my, my son got an extra point. Well, you know, yeah. they, they might have wrote it down wrong. They don't talk to you guys. They have to talk to the center referee. Then we talk to the uh, arbitrator. So uh, we try to make it easy as possible for the volunteers, not the hard job. <laughs> <laughs> any other questions? Do you have any questions on forms or ricottas, weapons? Not as of right now. Okay. Um, Again, these mats uh, are in way better condition than this one. Just try not to have anybody else touch them besides whoever's at the table. Uh, we try to keep them lasting as long as, I, as, long as possible. Uh, that's the tough, tough part. Now the easy part. <laughs> Timers. So since you three are here, I would ask you three to be scorekeepers because now you know what we're looking for in a scorekeeper. So you guys might not, might not be working together. All a timekeeper has to do is push a button. Push a button, reset. Now the fun part about being a uh, timekeeper, especially if you don't like your referee, you get to take a belt, after two minutes, you get to throw a belt at him. Get out of here. Yes. And you might, I, I like to get hit with a belt. Center referee, because I'm busy, <laughs> They can say time, they can be doing jumping jacks. I'm going, go, stop, and I'm giving scores. If I, I'm not really paying attention to the timer, I'm paying attention to the scorekeeper. <clears throat> the timekeeper, as soon as that two minute mark hits, the belt comes in, or the seven point spread. <clears throat> and black belts, I think it's a 10 point spread. I think it's, is it 10 point spread? Uh, it's advanced. I think it's advanced, and black belt division is a 10 point. 
Yeah, and then Grand Champion is just, I don't know. It's unlimited. That we'll worry about later. So let's change the page to sparring. This is the fun, easy stuff. This runs like butter once you get it started. <laughs> It's like school. Take it there, pass it around. So we only use these cards until we're out. If, if you notice on the yellow cards, we do not fill out the backs of them. We're not supposed to fill out the backs of these either. Uh, we have to fill out the front. Every student must fill these out uh, because that's how we know that you're in that division. So we're not going to start that division until that person is there. That person must match the person in front of us. You can't just say you're Penny. Oh, Penny, you're good. So that person must match the competitor. So you'll be using the sparring side. This is in red up top. And it says start again the coordinator will help you guys coordinate this because it says number of buys will count how many cards we have if we have uh, 12 you go down to 12 you're gonna have four first round fights and then four number of buys so that's easy we'll line them up how uh, they want to spar, then we'll say these people are the first four, then these people have the first four buys, and we pick chips for that. And uh, they go under start. Yes, okay. So schools, they have multiple students within the same division. When they show up to the ring, are we sorting the cards at that time, or are they, you guys pre-sorting it before the... Uh, I, I, we sort them at the ring. Okay. Because if we just start randomly picking chips, right. uh, we don't want them to fight first first match. Right. We're gonna do whatever's in our power, and you're bringing a lot of students. And I'm we're bring, all gonna be around the same division. So. Yeah, and I, I'm bringing six. Uh -huh. So my six are well spread out, so they're not gonna spar each other. Right. Yours might end up. Which I don't have a problem with, it was just that whole first round. Yeah. I wanna make sure we space them out. We're gonna definitely space them out of school and color uniforms that's how we divide them out um, the best we can sure and then if if you bring too many kids no i understand that yeah i understand which is great thank you i know <laughs> uh so oh the buys will go here so it rotates around and again you do have to circle you guys circle these points right yep, yep. Okay, so the scorekeeper is busy flipping the card. Do you do both scorekeeper and time, this? So timekeeper just does the time. This, wait, who's, what's it? No, wait, hold on. The scorekeeper is circling, timekeeper so time is flipping the cards. Okay, yeah. okay, so now they're not double duty, that's good. So the timer, I guess, is flipping the cards. We all have a card here. And when they say one point red, you repeat nice and loud. One point red, and you flip it. If you say one or two points white, you say two points white because there are two point head kicks. So you can flip two cards. Make sure you do flip two cards, and the uh, scorekeeper will be circling them. So this ending number should match the ending number out here, and always double check it. Uh, the biggest thing, and it happened to my student Mahanrai. Mahanrai on white, Bill on red, well Mahanrai went to red, Bill went to white, well Mahanrai beat him I think 5-zip and the next round he fought for 3rd and 4th. So it was my fault for really not paying attention but I was running the uh, tournament so I couldn't, there's nothing I can do after it's done. There's nothing I can do. Always repeat and have the center referee repeat the kids' names. Make sure uh, the correct person is on the correct color. Because it does happen. Like I said, mistakes will always happen. 
If there's a cloud determinant without one mistake, if there's a cloud determinant without 10 mistakes, it's not a cloud determinant. <laughs> um, so basically, the timer hits this and flips the cards, repeating back after the two minutes or the ten, uh, seven point spread. So it's a lot of math, especially in the summertime, that you guys have to, oh, seven, seven to two, oh, that's five, well, that's five points. So it has to be nine, nine to two, so it's seven points in between. Um, and the center ref will help with that, though, but it takes some time. What, yes? It specifically says that we need calculators, so is there going to be calculators provided? There, there's going to be calculators provided, yes, and that's for the katas and for the sparring also. Uh, all the equipment should be uh, up to date. Pens, pencils, pens on, sh shouldn't be out of ink. Uh, we supply all the tournaments so we get fresh stuff once a year. Um, so, uh, the winning cards, where do they go? There. So you call the two, the ones that get eliminated, got red and black. The ones that get eliminated go to the elimination side. The ones that win keep going to the blue. So white one goes blue, red goes here. Next one, the other color one, it goes here, the opposite color goes here. And then once they're out, you flip the stack over you start them again, pull the next two down. And that's simple how, how it goes. And again, we will help you with it. Uh, the center referees know what they're doing. They can help you guys with it. If not, the coordinators know how. So you're gonna be, you're gonna have plenty of support around you. Uh, anything else? Um, third and fourth and first and second. When you have four cards left, third and fourth fight first, and then first and second. Yes. Um, yeah, that's that's one big thing. You don't want first and second fighting first. And then third and fourth. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's a common mistake too. Mm -hmm. Where without experience, these guys have been doing it for and years. That makes sense because you kind of want to give the third and fourth opportunity to kind of jump forward and right. Yep. And change things. And you always want the first and second to fight last, so it shows. Kind of get a breather, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are timeouts. So the only, per only w way you guys stop the clock is if the center referee says stop. And then he'll say go again. So uh, each coach gets one timeout per uh, match. And they can call it any time they want. They can call it right when it starts or a second before it ends. Uh, whenever they feel like they need to call timeout, they'll call timeout. But you don't stop the clock until the center referee faces you guys and says it's time. Okay? Because if they call timeout already once, he's just gonna let the match keep going. So, uh, injuries, center referee will tell you guys time. Uh, equipment, trying to fix equipment, they'll call timeout and Again, center referee has that control to stop the match at any time. He'll say, time out, I need to talk with my judges. He'll talk with his judges. And then we can, as soon as he says go, you guys go again. Uh, do you have anything, Archie? No, just, um, you know, everybody here is volunteer. Go out there, just do your best. You know, it's to try to make it fun for, the, for all the competitors. Yeah. That's really it. Like, if parents come up and they start hassling you, immediately either put it to the center judge or call arbitrator. You know what I mean? Um, nobody should be harassing you guys. Make sure that, uh, and we'll, we'll back you up. Yeah. I'll harass you guys, though. I'm good at that. Uh, <laughs> if you guys need water and you see me around or you see... Uh, any type of staff around, and you guys will know who staff is because I'll point them out before the tournament. Hey man, I'm thirsty, I need something to drink. I've been sitting here for too long. Hey, boom, I'll get you something. We have little waters. We, uh, I don't know if we're gonna have Gatorades this, this year or not, but uh, we will be supplying uh, 
waters and probably some uh, snacks for you guys, just to keep you guys going. And that's again, the only reason I'm going. I know. <laughs> and bathroom snacks. breaks. Uh, if you have, uh, if you need to take a bathroom break, just hey, it's time. I got, I got to do it. Do you need to wear anything specific? Uh, we try to for this for the referees. We're trying to look professional. So um, for the referees. To you, well, before COVID, we used to have to wear a suit and tie. For all the referees that were synergized, had to wear a suit and tie. Corner referees could wear uh, dress professional, maybe a polo or in slacks, uh, or their uniform with, with a belt to show that there. Uh, you guys, we just ask, um, just. Some appropriate. Some appropriate. Just, uh, I mean, flannel, that, that's whatever, whatever's comfortable. It's gonna be hot outside. Hopefully it's gonna be 72 inside, we don't know. I'm sorry, I'm willing to type so many questions, but um, so these guys, I've been communicating with them. Mm -hmm. Can I just give them your number in case they have any questions they can just directly talk oh, to you? Oh, for sure. Okay, I don't give out numbers without permission. So oh yeah. Just, I can give you this number, so if you guys have any questions, instead of you know going through a third party, you just can't. Okay. And then again, uh, the day of, we, the tournament starts at 10. Um, we're open at 7. Registration opens, I think, also at 7. We start our tournament on time. And how we do that, we're the only ones that start on time. We do the national anthem two minutes before 10. And people are like, well, your tournament's the only one. That's I'll start the national anthem. If there's a line of people out the door, should have been here earlier. Boom, here's our national anthem, we're getting started. So people can start seeing that, hey, these people are real. Um, Do you need us there when the doors I, open? No, not when the doors open. I think right around 9.30. About 9.15 9 to 9.30, we're gonna have the meetings right, right about 9.30. And I can probably pick you guys up when you want to get And, uh, I was like to get there things like this early anyway. <laughs> huh? I always like to get there early anyway. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah, I, if you guys can get there, uh, 915, settle in. Uh, if you guys bring bags, yeah. uh, there's going to be a place for you guys to store small kids or bags. So uh, I don't know if I can get my computer over there, though. Huh? <laughs> I don't know if I can take my computer over there, though. Uh, well, you know, she's, she's competing. She does have a tablet and a phone. Um, so do you guys have anything for this part? <laughs> or anything else for the time? Yeah, nothing. You should get hungry. <laughs> like I said, it's, it, it's not rocket science. It's pretty close. But uh, it, it basically, this system here runs itself. All you, have, all you have to do is flip a card once in a while and write some scores down. And this whole paper system works. We're trying to go paperless because uh, another gentleman put this on his computer and it works. It just has lots of delays because of Wi-Fi. Oh yeah. It has glitches and slow. And yeah, and if it crashes and yeah, it crashed. The fir first time we used it, it crashed. She had 2,500 competitors. Oh, cool. So we went from electronic. Let's see, they had 2,500 competitors. We're shooting for 75. It, not. 3500 to 75 <laughs> and she did the computer system and it crashed boom guess what papers came out and we were writing the names down and Best division anyways so well, there's some good day. <laughs> anything to add no no it's uh yeah do you guys have anything any questions no, pretty self -explanatory. yeah it's uh it, it at first it's gonna be uncomfortable uh Black belts, like I said, black belts are, are just people. Uh, you'll see some black belts have attitudes. Uh, it gets crazy out there. I had an 11 year old try to throw a punch at me. <laughs> um, it, it, it can get crazy. I had a, I dated a guy and he was twins and they both were black belts and I went to go to their tournaments and it's, it, they're in and then they're over here and then they're over there and then this is going on over there and everybody's, Hayaing and kiaing all at the same time. It's like 
It looks like chaos, doesn't it? It does, it's but it's organ well organized. It's it is. organized it chaos. Like you can't really figure out kind of what's going on and where's where and who's going what if you're just, a, you know, like the person in the audience, you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But down there, it's so organized and I can see so where this makes sense. We have done something different. This does not uh, actually involves the scorekeeper. Um, instead of having the audience on the outside, because everybody wants to be in the center. That's where we put all our audience. We put it in the center. We put the rings on the outside. Interesting. Uh, uh, spectators in the center. The spectators want to be there anyways. Instead, of trying to kick people off the floor. Uh, we do not uh, charge any spectator fees. So if you have friends, family, people that you know, want to come in and watch, please do. Uh, the reason is, is <laughs> mom and dad are paying a premium. Right. Yep. You know, uh, so. The son or daughter, maybe you have two. I had three kids competing. Then what if my wife wanted to go, I wanted to go, my grandma, grandpa, it gets expensive. So we just want the competitors to pay their share, no spectator fees, have grandma and grandpa come in for free. And people are amazed on, you guys don't charge for this? No, we don't. It's uh, about we, the kids. We, we used to, but we thought that they're we, we just took it out just to try to help the parents afford the tournaments. So. You guys have any questions for me about this? Anything? Yeah. Oh, I have one thing to add. Um, if let's say you're, you're one person doesn't show up, tell the center judge uh, Billy Joe didn't show up, and and the coordinator or whoever they would say, hey, Billy Joe's a ring one five minutes. Five minutes pass. Billy Joe didn't show up. He can't compete. If some parents are like, oh, my kid was at break three, they'd be like, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, that happened to me in the last tournament, so I was like, so yeah. to figure it out, I guess. Man. But, uh, usually, like I said, if we if we have one card and we're missing one person, we will go to. Uh, Diane, she runs the whole thing and say, hey, is this person in any other ring? She will look back at the system. Yeah, ring three. That's my, I cheat. I just go straight to the source. Okay. So I know that that person's in ring three. So I go, I go to ring three. I, me being a uh, Kaizen League uh, gentleman, I can go behind the scenes, peek over your guys' shoulder and say, okay, they're up. It's gonna be about another eight minutes. So, so if you do in that situation, does the one that's already in there move on, or do they find someone to fill in the that other slot? To we we just hold that ring because okay. everybody already picked the chip, or we're getting ready to pick the chips. We might uh, we might move on. Depends on if ring three just started and they're not up until last. Then we'll skip this division and put another division in instead. But that'll be your call, correct? What's that? That'll be your call. Though, yes, right? that, that, that would be uh, the coordinator's call. Because he's coordinate the ring. And usually, uh, how we have up next, we have polls. We'll say, this division's up now, this division's up next. And people like to see those because they'll say, oh, my son or daughter's in ring three. So they'll communicate with the head person here and they'll understand. So then they, the coordinators will go, okay, Boom, they'll go over there, figure it out, take this card down, put another division up, so we'll get another division lined up right after. Okay. So we try to keep the uh, tournament running. Sometimes we have to be at a standstill. And it does not frustrate anybody but me <laughs> at any of the tournaments that I go to or help run. You just, just take a break stretch. Yeah, I just don't, I don't like, like it at a standstill. I like to have it keep moving. It's well, only when you got all the chaos going on around you. It's not fun to just stand there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes, that's good. Yeah. That, that is. And that, that does happen because people are in set different ranks. So. So, anything else? Yeah, just don't don't have people talk to you. Yeah. That's how you Just. And, and don't let them. If it's somebody you don't want, back there, if, it, if it's your daughter, that's fine, but if it's, you know, a, a I people will push limits. Yeah, people, people will, yeah, people people will push, will limits. push limits. You don't even have to say anything to them, just say, I'll be right back. You will tell the center referee, hey, this guy's bothering me. 
I'm good at tuning people out, so I don't have to think we're all good with that. We're just <laughs> walk away. <laughs> and, and just be polite and say, hey, uh, you have to go talk to the arbitrator. And you guys will all have CJ's uh, name or initials. CJ. I'll just disqualify everybody. Okay. <laughs> uh, everybody in this room, you're done. Yes. So, anything? Anything else? See that? Like I said, it, it's not hard. It, it, it seems complicated at first until you get the cards moving. And then once you get the cards moving, then you're excited to get the other one done. The most exciting thing is the sparring. I got to tell you guys that because it's going, going, going. It's a lot of action. You timekeepers very fast. Flip in the scorekeepers keeping score. It's boom. It's already over. Oh, okay. Next, and then we just keep going. Next, 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 next. And you just blow out the, that division. So it's fun to watch too. Just the other day, kids were completely like here, and then they were there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, did you want more of these? Yeah, if you got a couple of these. Or I'll uh, take it and photocopy it at work. Not a big yeah, That's what I did today. Well, just leave me one more and then yeah. I'll, I'll photocopy a bunch of work. Did you want another one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, if, you do, if you guys do show up and you have one more, we can get four rings started because you guys can do double duty during the kata. And I can throw somebody else uh, in there to help uh, score people. My my thing is is these tournaments with about three to four hundred competitors. We should start at 10 a.m. right on the dot, and we should not be out the door until or it should should be after four. And that's a busy tournament. Um, if we have with 75 competitors with enough help judges and score people timekeepers we could get out the door by one o'clock but we started trickling out after the kids start leaving some of the black boats leave and then we were down to one ring and that's what kills us so that's it thank you mm -hmm. thank you thanks for